Yeah, I think I like that intro more than the first one. It, it, it kind of had a very nice vibe to it that I enjoy. You know, I, I could talk about the story and stuff, but yeah, it, it gets it gets really good. I really like that intro a lot. Uh, Persona 3 FES. I guess we should do the intro again. <laughs> My intro. I'm your host, Chris. K-R-I-S. This is Persona 3. And uh, this is our third attempt at playing it because the audio fucked up every other time. You may begin the story Persona 3 with new features, but now nah, we're all good. This is just telling us what we got from the original uh, Persona 3 because FES is a re-release. Think Devil May Cry uh, 3 Special Edition and stuff. This lets me transfer stuff over. Kind of like Pokemon Blue. Alright, Claw, see you, man. Enjoy your day, dude. Transfer your data? Nah, we starting fresh, baby. I better be able to save it. Excuse me. Select a difficulty. Normal. The setting is intended for experienced gamers. Thank you very much for that little ego boost before we get stuck on a boss for two hours. Uh, yeah. Continue. Now, hopefully this goes all right. If this audio fucks off, then I don't know what's going to happen, man. Time never waits. It delivers all equally to the same end. You who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. One year. I enjoy the art style of this game quite a bit too. Look at the Lego ground over there, damn.
This game's weird, man. It's creepy when it wants to be. He don't even give a fuck. He's just trying to look at his map. You're late. I've been waiting a long time for you. Now if you want to proceed, please sign your name there. It's a contract. Don't worry. All it says is that you'll accept full responsibility for your actions. You know, the usual stuff. Damn. That's a lot of pressure to throw on me right away. I've heard of this game, but never watched anything about this game. Man, this game, it really depends. If you like JRPGs and anime and stuff, this game is fucking awesome. Sometimes a little too anime, though. It has all the, uh, enter your last name? What? Can I go back? Uh... I'm using my real name for this playthrough. Chris Big Dick. Uh, into your first name. You know what, really, if you want to piss me off, play play a game like this where you enter your name and use lowercase the entire way through. Oh. There we go. We all good? We, we all good? Read, Chris? Read what? Proceed? Sure. Using all lowercase, seen that all the time. No one can escape time. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears and cover your eyes. And so it begins. So this game came out at the height of the emo craze, just so y'all know. Damn, look at my expression. Talk about wait. <laughs> Damn. She almost shot my ass. Late night. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. Who are you, Miss Redhead? My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Mitsuru. Who's he? Brunette. He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? Damn, no trust. I guess we'll see. All right. This is Yukari Takeba. Hey, Yukari. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Mm. Hey. Nice to meet you. Why do you have a gun? I is this the girls' dorm? Man, they just talked about it being a boys' dorm also. This guy doesn't pay attention. Uh, you know, it's, it's a little weird she has a gun, but I'm going to be polite because she's cute. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Ah, there's the smile. I already got her. It's getting late, so you should get some rest. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Oh, damn. Second room. All right, all right. Uh, you, you carry. You, you want to you wanna show me to my room? Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. All right, all right. Starting to like Japan. Damn, how big are these, these, these carpets? Look at this carpet. Look at this hallway. Look at the door. Dude, how big is that door? This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. Oh yeah, make sure you don't lose your key or you'll never hear the end of it. So, any questions? 
Yeah, man, you single or what? Shit. What's the contract for? Does that kid live here too? Uh, yeah, what's the contract for, man? You know the one I signed? Huh? What contract? You carry doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Um, can I ask you something? No, all right, I'm man. I'm way here from the station. Was everything okay? No, there wasn't, man. We had fucking coffins all over the streets. There was blood on the clocks. The fucking audio on the stream died like three times. It was horrible. Yeah. I see. Never mind then. Well, I better get going. Damn. Um. Huh? I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? All right. Good night. I like your hair, girl. <laughs> the power touch. It's Yukari. Are you awake? Ignore her. Oh, we'll play hard to get. You know, girls love that when you're an asshole. Hell no. You gotta be a gentleman. I got blue shoes. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Sanpai asked me to take you to school. You could fit four Yukaris in the in the gap of that door. It's getting late, so are you ready to go? Uh, I can find it myself. Yeah, I'm ready. Damn, you can be a cold bitch in this game. Find it yourself. So that's it. See, there it is. Huh? I got it. So much, man. Yo, Yo, you ready for this? What a slacker. All I do is Good morning. Good morning. Well, this is it. That's that skirt. We're here. Welcome to GeckoCon High School. Hope you like it. That ain't regulation, man. She can't. She can't even sneeze without her ass showing. You're okay from here, right? Yeah, I'm all good. You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. All right. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Not really, but... Are we not supposed to wear uniforms? Am I wearing a uniform? Why isn't she wearing a uniform? Which class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later. No, oh, I saw everything, girl. I'm telling everybody. Start spreading them rumors day one. It's how I get people to like me. There are many people standing in front of the bulletin board. Man, there's a lot of reading in this game. Some of it you're just gonna have to do yourselves. This this shit. Damn, this is... This is 60 frames? Look at this, this speed. This is smooth as fuck. Hey, what's up? Faculty office? I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here, so you probably should ask someone else. Alright. Hey, dude. Two students are talking. Hey, Kaz, why are you wearing your PE uniform? School just started. You really ought to find somewhere to change into some normal clothes. Oh, I guess. Okay, okay, fine. Quit glaring at me like that. I like his hair. Man, that dude's balding. That dude has a worse hairline than me. He's like, what, 16? Hey, where, where's the bulletin board with uh, the, hu the, the home rooms posted? It's right there. You're in class F, Kaz. She's cute, man. I'm in a different homeroom, so I, I can't keep an eye on you. I worry about you sometimes. Fuck. Siblings? Can't run between them. No need for them to post the names of the kids who are going to be in our class. I mean, we'll never see them again after we graduate anyway. Wow, this guy's a dick. Oh, great. I have the worst teacher ever. <laughs> 
Oh, I remember that feeling. Male student. Oh, there it is. Class F, huh? Taught by what? Miss Toriyumi? Oh, well, she is older than me, but... Damn, look at his eye. Look at it. He, he just got a fucking dog pissed in his eye or something. Look, look at that. How do you say that name? Kanu? Man, Japanese. I'm, I'm going to fuck up so many names. You can't find your name. Look for it again. There's a small note with your name on it. Oh, God. I don't like seeing my own name in this game. What? I don't see my name. What should I do? What should I do? Breaking the song. Uh, where are we going? Is this a gift shop? Vendor. Oh, I forgot how much I love the, the little menus in this game. This game is pretty. Apple strudel. Cutlass sandwich. Five grand! Oh, I got three grand. I'm rich. What's this for? German pastry with apple inside. That sounds nasty. A filling sandwich. Perfect for lunch. Uh, now I'm good. You seem interested in what we got on sale. You must be a new student. Is that is she trying to tell me something? Like a, as soon as I taste it, I'm gonna lose interest. I don't have enough bread for everyone, so if you want some, come early. I don't have any customers once school's out, so I can't sell that much. All right. Hey yo, what's up? Uh, this item's perfect. The woman. Okay. Who seems to be a teacher is mumbling to herself. I got it now. Everything will fall into place if you make everything 50 times as expensive. Okay, shit, man. Okay. But if I were to rise the prices that much, I'll go broke. Because students won't buy anything. Ah, I see. So there was an unknown variable of the student interest in the equation. Okay, dude, this guy's gone a little crazy. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll order more pork cutlass sandwiches just for you. Satisfied? Now hurry back to the faculty office. It's a new year, right? You must have a lot to catch up on. We got fire extinguishers laying about. Hey dudes. Oh, this guy's wearing a helmet. If you're a real man, you should have the soul of a samurai. At this school, we teach students to become samurai. So they can succeed in society and whatnot. Wait... Oh, God. But Z is great. I wish to also become Z Samurai. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's the spirit. You might not be from here, but you got the same page. The two of them seem very excited. Oh, damn. They're making friends already. Hey, girl, you're cute. Maybe not. Library? That's strange. I saw it on the map, but where am I? Huh. That is a good question, though. Can I... Nurse's office? I should go to D office? Here? Nice! Damn, just happened upon it. Hey, girl. I like your little pantsuit. Oh, are you the new student? 11th grade, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Yeah, I'm an orphan. Nobody wants me. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Composition teacher. Oh, thanks. <laughs> nice to meet you. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Auditorium? That's not a fun word. Come on, man. My first day here, I got blue hair, blue shoes. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb... If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. I, I agree with that. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his speech. Psst. Hey. 
The student behind you is trying to get your attention. He came to school with Yukari this morning, right? Yeah, what I about it? Two walking together. What about it? Hey, I have a question. Huh? Do you know if she has a boyfriend? Not yet, but she's going to. Man, I knew it. Back off, dude. I mean, why wouldn't she? Wait, how well do you know her? Well enough. I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. You hear lots of people talking. Damn, they're all talking about you carrying me now. We're the new hot ting. Just you wait. Dude. <laughs> dude, why you gotta strike me out like that? How's it going? Who the hell are you? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. Hey, Junpei. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? Hey, it's Yukatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? He's not bothering me, man. God damn, you, you carry. He introduced himself, he was polite, he had some positive energy going on. What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Be nice. Anyway, it looks like we're in the same homeroom. Yeah, I know. It must be fate. Hmm. I don't know. I uh, see. I want to get in her good books, but is it coming on a little too strong? Just a coincidence. Why would you say that? Why? Why would you ever say that in a conversation? Why? Why would you ever say that? I'm gonna say fate. Fate? You're right. <laughs> Still, I'm a little surprised. Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. Oh, shit. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Oh, you, you know it, man. He, he can feel it. What are you talking about? The connection we have already. We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Oh, I don't believe that for Why one second. Why are even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Hey, you didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? <laughs> uh, y y you know what? Don't tell me you forgot already. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, alright? <laughs> what? L last night? <laughs> Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. Hey, you said it. I didn't say shit. I'm just standing here looking at you dig your own grave. Listen, I just met him yesterday and there's absolutely nothing between us. Is there though? Jeez, I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. Why isn't she wearing a uniform? Uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun year. I can feel it. Damn, look at the expression. What the fuck? Suddenly he's all hawk-eyed, you know? What's that about? You know what, I was thinking I should probably change my camera from right to left for the first time in like six months. Let, let's, let's do that real quick. Because y'all want to be able to see the, uh, the days of the week and shit, you know? We'll put the overlay and the camera over. It'd be a bit weird seeing my, my, my damn face over here again though, it's been so long. Okay. You decided to go home with Junpei. Hey, what the go home with Junpei? What about you, Carrie?
The gentle spring sunlight is warm. Sounds like a nice day to me. I love that, especially around 6 or 7 p.m. when the heat's cooling down and it's just a nice, like a nice radiant feeling. There's a sign-in sheet. You can save your game. Oh, hell yeah. Welcome back. Hey, Mitsuru. What will you do? I'll save it, see how it goes. Hope that the audio is fine. Oh, damn. You, you, you have to micromanage some of your aspects of this game also. Like, you gotta go to the bathroom and whatnot. And make sure it all works out okay. Otherwise, you're gonna be feeling a little ill. Look at that. Where is it? Where'd it be? Where'd it be? It's the men's room. I think you can play as a girl on the PSP version of this game also. But some of the cutscenes are missing. And she ain't canon. You feel refreshed. Your condition has become great. Hell yeah. We got a big ass tube TV. I don't really plan on playing, playing many video games on it. Hey girl. I guess I can play some PS1 games. Get all them sexy sprites. You really shouldn't be outside on your own at night. It's too dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. You should go get some rest. God damn, man. I can't... Hey, you carry. Didn't see you after school. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Hmm. Just looking around. No, no, no. What are you doing? Just killing time. Doing nothing. You're probably pretty tired, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early tonight. Man! Nobody wants to hang out with me. Nobody wants to be my friend. Look at the size of this table. What the fuck? But the ceiling is low. Look how low that ceiling is. Everything else is huge. Look at this door. Huh? The back door is locked. Alright. Can I open this? See, see what I mean? You, you come to a new area, a new home. You try to make some friends. It's a vending machine. Buy some drink. Uh, Mad Bull. Sobe. What's this one? How do you say that? Cielo mist? Will you go back to your room now? Sure. Nobody wants to hang out. It's all good. Now, uh, oh damn. Cutscenes. I'm going out for a bit. What happened to your eyebrow? Hmm? Didn't you see the newspaper? There's a lot going on. I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? The chairman will be here for the next few days, but after that, I can... Don't worry, I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Akihiko. I like how he walks around with his jacket over his shoulder, looking like a badass. That's how everyone knows he's the cool guy. It's April? April 8th? You overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom? No, not that one. I mean a story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, It's coming. It's coming. Huh? How about that? You don't believe me? Damn, they are gossipy. But that's high school, man. What are you gonna do about it? Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel. Oh, God. God, how am I meant to say this word? Zen... Zenzoyu? Did I... Zen... Zen... Zenzoyu? Kasai? Zenzoyu? Fuck this. Huh? Why him? I'd rather teach... God damn it! Uh, every game with Japanese people have to have Japanese names. What is this? Every time. 
You, yeah, fuck. Uh, two bada. Fuck that. I'm out. Uh, I'm gonna start calling them some Mexican names instead. It is much easier to pronounce. He became famous as a singer, but he also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. We'll just bring uh, Kaiba back next time. You know what I mean? Fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! this shit. Junpei, were you listening? Oh, God. Oh, God. I wasn't listening. I was complaining. Hey. This is who she was talking about. Then she said, why him, right? And then, and then uh, she said, why? She never mentioned this guy. Fuyu Hiko. Man, I, I pronounced that shit so easily. What the fuck does this even say? That's right. You are listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. Hey, man, you, you saved my ass. You hear your classmates whispering. Chris gave him the answer. He must pay attention in class. <laughs> you became slightly more popular. Your charm has increased. All right. In this game, you c you have to save it. You know, as a PS2 game, you have to save it uh, pretty often. Because you can do like three hours of work, die, and have to do it all over again. Since classes have ended for the day, you decide to go back to the dorms. Man. Bookworms. Hey, dude. Oh, never mind. I thought it'd run into me. Best student. Hey, man. I try. Uh, just don't ask me to pronounce the names, all right? Man, the days are going fast right now. You gotta build up to that lore. Oh, he's back. This guy's a twat. So, this is our new guest. Sophisticated gentleman. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki? Did I say that? Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't Yes! It? Thank you! So I, I take back what I said. This guy rocks. He understands the pain. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I, I, Ikutsuki? Ikutsuki? Please, have a seat. Ikutsuki. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Why are you here? Who else lives here? The other night, I saw... Nanga. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me... Hey, where are you going, man? You must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. Why everybody want me to go to bed? As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the pun. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You'll get used to his lame jokes. Hey, we're sitting on the couch to get... Oh. Look at the size of this bed. This is a king size. Oh shit. Working I mean a hard. bar. So how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching.
All right. Dark hour. Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. What a fucked up world. <laughs> When he woke up, or when he's got up and looked at all the coffins, and his face started melting. Welcome to the Velvet Room, my dear young man. Uh, eh? Alright. Weird ass dream. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. The this nose on is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. The only thing weird in his nose is his eyes. Doesn't that look painful? Doesn't he look like he needs eye drops or something? This poor bastard. Pleased to meet you. Hey. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It's been years since we've had a guest. It's a document you signed at the dorm. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Oh, all right. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. <laughs> He's really trying to sell this place to me, you know? The Velvet Room is so cool here. We have drinks. Where, 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 do you, where, where do you be, though? Are we in an elevator? You are destined to hone your unique ability. And you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return. My soul? That you abide by the contract. And assume responsibility for the choices you make. Uh, I'll try. That seems pretty damn creepy, though. Hold on to this. Can I, can I read the fine print? Get my lawyer to look over it. Till we meet again. All right. That. I I I think as soon as I wake up, I'd move. Nothing good has happened since we came here, you know. A full moon. It feels like you had a strange dream. However, it's time to go to school. Damn. They're really f shooting this school down my throat right now. <laughs>